The emotions associated with fight or flight, emotions like anger and fear, are triggered deep inside our brain. Five, four, three, two, one, tug! And when we try to control them, we start a tug of war between our brain's oldest and newest parts. While ancient structures like the amygdala respond to threats by trying to turn our anger or fear on, it's newer structures, such as the prefrontal cortex, the thinking part of our brain, that tried to turn them off. It's the tug of war between these two systems that gives rise to our emotions. At New York University, neuroscientist Joseph Ledoux has studied how the amygdala and the cortex shape our emotional responses. You know more about the amygdala than anybody alive, and you still can't control yours. No. Why? Now, there's an interesting thing, again, that has to do with the wiring of the brain. This is if we could just look at it here. So this is the human brain inside a skull. And the prefrontal cortex is here in the front, right behind your forehead. And that is the, the newest part of the, the brain. This is where we make our decisions, this is where we plan for the future um, and strategize. The lateral prefrontal cortex has no connectivity with the amygdala. The amygdala has super highways to talk to the cortex, but the prefrontal cortex has only back roads and side streets to get to the amygdala. And therefore, it is unable to tell the amygdala, cool it. But why are there no connections? We're in the process of evolving as we speak, and those connections have not been put in yet. This thing was built to do fancy things cognitively, not necessarily to control our...